What's up guys and girls, YouTube, Sam Man here, and this is kind of a little channel update. Um, I've had a lot of new subs, and a lot of unsubs, and I thought I should kind of tell y'all guys what I've been working on, when I got ideas, and uh, kind of what my channel is. Um, that's a tricky one, because, yeah, I'm a goofy guy in a helmet that just, that's an old story, it just happened, and it's... Just part of it. Just go with it. <laughs> it's just stupid. It's just something I do. It just became part of my channel, and and it's it's easier just to keep wearing it because I don't know why. I just it feels like if I'm gonna do a video, it just feels like it needs to come on. Um, because I've tried every time. I said, well, you know, I'm not gonna wear it that often, and this just didn't feel like something was missing when I stopped wearing it. <coughs> Sorry, I feel a little sick. But, uh, like I was talking about the subs, I had, last few days, I had 120 subs, but also had a 90 unsubs. Um, congratulations on all the new subs, I appreciate it, thank you, hope you enjoy what you get, or whatever. Um, but I think the thing is, when I get unsubs, is when people get used to maybe seeing some, some comedy every day, or something I do jokingly, then when I come off and I go off on something, because I am opinionated, uh, they just immediately unsub. Uh, but you're right. But the thing is, I want you all to know my channel is a free place to, to tell me off. Uh, all I, all video responses are great. Um, you can comment. You can disagree with me. And vehemently disagree with me. I'm very fine with that. I'm not like a lot of people, or almost most of the people on YouTube. You can't disagree with. Please disagree with me. If you're right, you think you're right, let's talk about it. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm not a dictatorian at all. Not one bit. Because I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I got some strong views about things because as I, say, what, two years, almost three years into the, maybe about two years into the gun community, I've had a gun for a long time and shot it. But it ain't been over about a year and a half that I've been really getting big into shooting and knowing what I learned. And as I learn and as I shoot and as I do stuff, the more I learn, the more I realize that a lot of people don't know what the hell they're talking about. Uh, a lot of the experts out there are like, wait a minute, these fuckers don't know what they're talking about. Um, I think that is in a lot of stuff. People who, who act like I am all, all into all really they don't know what you're talking about so I guess when I you know speak my mind my theories and stuff like that or whatever and people get all uppity but I'm sorry and that's just my way I think um let's see what else and you know you might see some crazy stuff on my but I but my channel is a joking channel in a way I, I mean it's just my personality I get a little silly sometimes but then I if I get pissed or I see something, I'll speak my mind and just throw it out to, to the world and y'all will do what you would want to do with it. Uh, and it's more just like, them videos usually come out when I watch somebody's video and I just want to just speak my mind about it. But I really don't want to point out like, that's the guy or get that guy because I don't want to get no pissing match with nobody anymore. So I kind of keep it vague, and sometimes you'll figure it out, sometimes you don't. So, yeah. Um, okay, and uh, I have a few gun-type videos. I said I, I work a lot of hours, and I got a family, so it's hard to really... I got great ideas, I just don't have no time to implement half. Not even a, a, a pittance of what stuff I come up with. So I've got some cool gun... It, it's kind of funny, if I can pull it off. A lot of stuff is funny if it pulls it off so so be concerned. I'm gonna call it gun porn just just <laughs> it's with music and the, the porn music and the, the lotion and the it's just I have a funny idea if I pull it off we'll see um, I plan on getting a better microphone um, I have a uh, just this cheap Logitech but um uh, last year I I was up for I was going to be in an independent movie, but the the movie died. I was going to be a part, a little, you know, what I mean, you know, maybe a little speaking role. It died, but it gave me an idea for a um, uh, 
maybe like some Hunt and Wiggly, everybody does some animation guys or whatever. I have a kind of funny scene in my head. I haven't talked to nobody about it, but um, I think I even wrote it down. But I'm going to want a nice good microphone where I can actually lay it down and make it sound right. And it doesn't sound like crap out of an $8 microphone. So, so I'm going to try to do some voiceover stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff, you probably never see it. But I'm gonna do it, and um, and you know, email it to a few people and see what goes from there. You know, because that's what I like. As I did more and more YouTube, I get to more like I really enjoy coming up with ideas more than I enjoy doing that. I think I we always talk about our dream job. Now I get to thinking my dream job would be writing for people who like to do comedy because I because I can come up, I just can come up with stuff quickly. Um, so if anybody ever needs ideas, let me know. I come up with crazy stuff. I just don't do nothing. I mean, a lot of like videos of people who do that, I give them ideas, no problem. And if you ever need any help with anything, I'm, I'm very gracious. If anybody needs any help with anything, just let me know and I'll try to help you guys out as much as I can. But I do work a lot of hours and I've got family and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to start to order some tags, like some name tags for people. Uh, I ordered a smaller order of them, so I'm gonna start sending them out to people. And some, you know, so you might, so some people might get some with funny logos that I know they'll like. So some of my subs, I will start sending some stuff out to them, you know. Because I, I, that's, you know, I know everybody's getting weird about, you know, but I like, I enjoy sending people stuff, and I like, I, I enjoy it when like somebody sends me something, so it's kind of cool. Um, what else do I have to talk about? Have no idea. <laughs> Speechless. Oh, uh, camping. Uh, <laughs> big thing is, like, I, I drive all night long, and you come. I come up with ideas for videos. Then, but and I have it written. I might even get a napkin out and write some stuff down while I drive. And I'm laughing, and I think it's great. And then by the time I get back or get tired, and I said, you know, fuck, I kind of talk myself in out of half the stuff I did do. Good thing, because I think I'll get kicked off. So I had this great, especially when I was sick, I had this great idea about camp, camp pussies and <laughs> stuff, just going off with people. And which I made, because I do have some knowledge on camping and kind of bushcraft. I was raised. And um, I was born in Miami, but when I was three or four, we moved up to uh, the mountains of North Carolina, Smoky Mountains, Clay, uh, 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 Mac, uh, Maggie Valley, Scaly Mountain, all that stuff, real deep in the woods. We had, to, we had to walk like a mile and a half down the dirt road just to get to the bus stop. And my mom and them were kind of in a, it was kind of a cultish type whole witness thing. So we weren't allowed to go in the house, and it was a creek. So basically, I lived most of my childhood on to about 12, about 13 or 14 in the woods. I was pretty much a wood child, you know, because we weren't allowed to come in the house. We weren't allowed to watch TV, so it was all woods. And so I do have a lot of knowledge about camping and stuff like that, but the thing is, my big deal is people who I seek do camping videos, they have like a thousand dollars worth of stuff with them. And not only a thousand dollars worth of stuff, they have 80 pounds of walking sticks and going for a day hike. And to me, it was like we just carry, you know, we just wrapped up the tarp up and just put our stuff in there and just and just hired it out. And when I was in school, our book bag, I just you know, when I went to Boy Scouts and stuff later on when we moved to South Carolina, um, we just emptied my book bag and I just threw my stuff in there for four, three or four day worth of uh, camping. So I just, I might start doing some stuff like that to really, and maybe just put it op open up to everybody and say, hey, who can go camping with the least? You know, maybe have a prize or something because I know. A lot of us, or a lot of guys who have YouTube channels, they really want to be gear reviewers and say, hey, look at this great gear. Like, hey, look at this ball, you know. This, this ball's great, you know. And, but you have to think, do you really need this ball? Do you really need said product? Yes, said product is nice, but do you really need it? Uh, a lot of people don't ask that question and stuff. So I really wish... Maybe I'll start the ball rolling and trying to say, 
what do you really need when you go camping? Can we, maybe, I don't know, maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can see where it goes, you know, because I don't think we need as much as a lot of us take, or I see took in, because, I mean, when I go out camping, um, it's <sighs> tarp, uh, you know, maybe I can get a little Walmart, I mean, I'm, I ain't got less than a hundred bucks worth of crap with me, you know, and a lot of just, you know, not very much. Now, it's different when I take my wife camping. She wants to go camp. She wants to know where she, first thing she wants to know is where the hell am I taking a shit. So, she wants, like, state park, bathroom, shower. She wants the whole deal. That's great. But, for me, it's, it's pretty much backwood bush country. So... All right, well, I'll let this one go, and we'll see, and, uh, you know, <laughs> well, it's late. All right, guys and girls of YouTube, Knuckle Bump, and I appreciate all the love that everybody sends me, and um, um, just agree with me if you do, please. Uh, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a blocker. I have blocked nobody yet so far, and I do not plan on blocking nobody. Uh, speak your mind, and, you know. Now, if you're mean or an ass, I'll, I, I'm, I'll go back at you. I'm pretty pretty brutal, but, yeah. So, how about it? All right, guys, be good.